Reporting for Daybreak Online for this Wednesday, the fourth day of February, I'm Jim Adele Abrams. Weather forecast calling for a pretty nice day today with temperatures in the mid 50s. Much colder tomorrow, however, with sunshine and uh, northwest winds. High tomorrow in the mid 40s, low tomorrow night in the low to mid 20s. And then much better on Friday with highs in the mid 50s and sunshine. A low 60s on Saturday and uh, upper 60s on Sunday with partly cloudy skies both Saturday and Sunday. In area news, the Pell City City Council will interview candidates for the vacant city manager's job Thursday. Applicants include the current city manager of Talladega, uh, Brian Muenger, and uh, the council will spend about 30 minutes interviewing each candidate. And the session started about 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. The council advertised a vacant position and had nearly 20 candidates apply for the job. A Munford woman was transported to the emergency room at Citizens Baptist Medical Center in Talladega after being involved in a two-car accident, according to Police Captain Leon Thomas. She was taken to a hospital in a private vehicle after an ambulance failed to respond in a timely fashion. Now, the drivers of the vehicles, Vicki Foster Lackey, age 53, driving a 2010 Ford Mustang, and Judd Thomas Watts, age 22, also of Munford, uh, driving a 1994 GMC Sonoma. Uh, now, uh, Watts apparently had the sun in his eyes at the time of the accident. He was not injured in his vehicle, not seriously damaged. Now, Lackey was complaining of pain in her head and neck and possibly a broken finger. Uh, two calls for ambulance service went out, but there initially was no response. And Lieutenant, uh, excuse me, Captain Leon Thomas of the Talladega Police Department said that after the second call, police were told to contact another service because they had no one available in the area. Now, an incident report uh, documenting the issues with the ambulance, so ambulance was written and given to Chief Jason Busby, who would pass it along to E911 District for further investigation. Now, Thomas said the backup service did not have any crew any closer than Cook Springs. At that point, the injured, man, uh, injured woman's husband opted to drive her to the emergency room himself. A hunter who's been reported missing by his family on Friday was found dead at a wooded area after a two-day search by authorities. The victim, uh, Mark Benefield, age 63. St. Clair County Assistant Sheriff Billy Murray said the victim was found Saturday in a wooded area behind his residence where he frequently hunted. Uh, his body was sent to the Alabama Department of Forensic Sciences in Huntsville to determine the official cause of death. And a search of Talladega College Crawford Hall uh, by Andor, the Talladega Police Department's dog resulted in two marijuana arrests this week. According to Police Captain Leon Thomas, the dog and his handler, Officer Daniel Chesser, were deployed at the residence hall at the request of campus police. The dog first alerted at the door to a room on the 210 block. A blunt and small bag appearing to contain marijuana was discovered in, inside the room, and a 20-year-old Birmingham resident was arrested for misdemeanor possession of marijuana. The dog alerted further down the hall, too, Thomas said, once inside this room. Officers found a blue backpack containing a mason jar, which in turn contained 17 bags of a leafy substance believed to be marijuana. They also uh, secured a bottle believed to contain anti-nausea pills. A 21-year-old Talladega resident was arrested in the case, again, for misdemeanor possession of marijuana. Uh, the marijuana and pills were turned over to Talladega County Drug and Violent Crime Task Force. According to Commander Jason Murray, the second man may also be facing felony charges, but no determination had been made as of last night. That's a look at obituaries, weather, and local news reporting for Daybreak Online. I'm Jim Adele Abrams.